to welcome to another tutorial about how to structure your uh, architectural uh, design, which is very important and um, not addressed uh, adequately in all the tutorials around because they're not about architecture. And you have to remember you have to organize uh, more than 100,000 objects in space. And this is one of the very fundamental concepts, which is on the first hand, uh, very simple, but it turns out to be tricky in the interplay with all the other structuring uh, concepts. So with the, uh, with the layers, we are down with this menu and uh, there's a kind of competition conceptually uh, with the outline here. So let's uh, start. So the, the tool itself is uh, super in, uh, simple. So we just start like always with a simple cube and now we want to flatten it. Um, take the flatten that. So this should be the floor of a building. So um, <clears throat> like always we have to get that anchor that in our hierarchy. So we need an empty object. We say this is our uh, house in one and the floor is part of it. So um, just uh, select it, select all and um, scale it by that five so that we get a nice um, games between things. Now, we have a house, we have a floor, and uh, now we duplicate this floor, uh, dupli and uh, make a second floor. It's uh, now, uh, it's here. So um, people normally get uh, the first floor and take another layer for the second floor. And uh, this is done with M. And then it moves a selected object to another layer. So now it's gone. And uh, we can see uh, the visible layers. So this is a house with a floor. And uh, here you can move to the visibility. So we go here for the second one. Now we see the second floor. This is for one. It's here. And we can just shift. We can, oh, that's give you some more hints what I'm doing and uh, now with shift we can see both layers so we have objects in both layers and then we see here the whole hierarchy so we'll do it again <coughs> uh, the link third put that the third layer and show all the three layers that's it so in principle, <clears throat> so what you normally do is that you organize uh, the, the floors of your, lay of your buildings or you organize then construction or facade and um, then the service systems or the furniture, organize that in different layers. I think this in principle is fine, especially with the floors in this uh, setup so and uh, but the question is you can do the same here so you can say yeah, if i organize it in a hierarchy i can say i want to don't want to see my floor floor the, the last floor you can switch it on off and you can switch them all on and off or switch them so it's just the same here so i would say the interplay between this hierarchy and the layers here is that you say, let's um, duplicate the whole thing. Next, that you say, and now we see that we get this thing double. So for example, if you want to, don't want to have the last floor, then we have to do it on both points in hierarchy. So now you see we already got confused. So now we have the same effect. Then if we go and leave this earlier. So therefore I think it's good to have it like that, that you have the principal uh, the, the, the principal visibility here, so it's generic 
absolute and then you make exceptions here so you say but this i don't want to see that yeah this is what i would say is this interplay there will be other dependencies in the other videos but this is what i'm able to show with layers very simple but it starts getting more complicated in the next videos thanks for watching